Whatever this filter lands on, we're gonna mash it all together on the iPad. Ooh, oh my gosh, I love this one. Okay, let's go. I'm thinking we make the body pink to kind of be like the cow and the axolotl, but instead of the white drips, I'm thinking we make them be that purple. And then we can add on the axolotl's gills and the strawberry seeds to round it all off. Let's drag in that pink color and I'm gonna add in all the little drips and make it purple. I still wanna add in the swirls, so I'm thinking I add that in in like a darker purple. Okay, these guys both have this little belly, so I think I changed my mind and I'm gonna give them a belly that also looks like a strawberry. And I'm just gonna add on a bunch of little seeds on there, give him a tiny little smile. I'm going to add on the gills from the oxalotl, and I'm thinking we do pink for this one too. That's better. <laughs> Lastly, I think I wanna add the two tiny little horns from the cow. And here's the final result. Something about the horn plus the gills makes it look like a moose. Let me know what you think we should name it in the comments. We're back, whatever this lands on, I'm gonna mash them all together on the iPad. Oh, this is a fun one. Okay, a lot going on with these ones. I'm thinking we do the hair from the fairy. Definitely do the toppings and maybe the bottom from this one. I guess we have to do the wings from the panda. And then I'm thinking we do the frog's eyes, but on her little buns. All right, let's go. First, I'm gonna get the general shape of her hair in here. I'm gonna color that in. Next, I'm gonna add on the whipped cream that's on top of the head. I'm gonna throw in some of those sprinkles on there. I'm gonna add on the kind of, I guess, cupcake wrapper that he has on the bottom. Okay, I don't know what this is looking like so far. I'm gonna add on the wings from the little panda guy. Also, what is he supposed to be? Panda, unicorn, pegasus? I don't know. I'm gonna add on the heart-shaped cheeks, but I think in the color of the panda bear. Lastly, I'm gonna add in those eyes. All right, here it is all complete. Let me know what you think we should name it in the comments. Whatever this lands on, we're gonna mash all of them together on the iPad. Part 20. Okay, we've got some I've never seen before. Probably these I had to look up what they were, but this one is a bearded dragon, so we definitely have to use that beard. This is a dinosaur. It looks so simple, but I guess we'll add on that little fin up there. And then for the cow, we can definitely do the coloring and maybe even the snout. I'm about to go out of town for a week, so this is literally the 21st video I've made today, so I have to be drinking my Alani energy drink today. First and foremost, I have to tackle that beard. It looks like it wraps around and then the spikes kind of go on the outside and then work their way to the inside. Okay, I got the basic shape and each one of these is a different color, so I'm gonna alternate them. I added on that skull part too and it looks so cute. Gonna color that top part pink and add on a bunch of different spots down here. Let me add on this dinosaur tail, fin? What do you call that thing? And last, I'm gonna add on the cow's nose. And here it is, all complete. Let me know what you think we should name it in the comments. Whatever squishmallows these land on, I'm gonna mash them all together on the iPad. Ooh, okay, these are great, let's go. Okay, I'm thinking we have to do the ears from the corgi, the Bigfoot, like, hat almost onto it but i'm thinking it could be funny if the christmas tree is underneath that hat we might have to do just like the wings and the horn for it okay the first thing i'm gonna do is draw on kind of like where the mask is for the yeti costume and then add on the little bit of like fluff all the way around it and i'm gonna color that in brown then i'm gonna add the corgi's ears almost as if they're coming out of this hat too now to add in that Christmas tree color and the little string lights all over it. I added on the most adorable little nose and then I just have to add on the horn and the wings from the little unicorn panda. And here is the final result. I love this one. Let me know what you think we should name it in the comments. It has been a minute, but you know the drill. Whatever these land on, we're gonna mash them together. Ooh, okay, let's go. Okay, I say we do the color and the wings from this dragon. Definitely the little cute dessert from this guy. Maybe the little belly and outside part of the cobra and then the face of the wolf. All right, let's go. Okay, to get that color, I'm just gonna make like a bunch of splotches. And I'm gonna take the Gaussian blur tool and just, yes. Now I'm gonna draw on the little wings and I'm gonna add on that dessert up here, something like that. And we have to add all the little sprinkles onto it. All right, now I'm gonna add on the cobra's belly and of course the little flaps behind his head. And last, I'm just gonna add on the little face that the wolf has and the final result. I think that wolf face on here just looks so cute. First question this lands on, I'm gonna mash them all together on the iPad. 
Ooh, okay, let's go. Okay, I'm thinking maybe we make it the color of this tulip with some spots on it. Like definitely the chicken's like little um, bread part up there. And then from Hello Kitty, I think we do the face, the little mask and the flippers. Okay, I'm gonna start by making it purple. Then taking a darker purple, I'm gonna make the spots like from the giraffe. But okay, I've got all that done. Now I'm just gonna add on this thing of the chicken and the wings. Okay, I'm loving how this looks so far. Now I'm gonna draw the little mask that Hello Kitty has on and make it pink. I added white over it. Now I'm just gonna take that layer and down the opacity just to give the hint of a mask. Now I just need to add on the little flippers and here is the final result. This is one of the coolest ones I've ever made. Let me know what you think we should name it in the comments. Whatever Squishmallows this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them all together on the iPad. Ooh, this is great. Okay, we've got two birds. So I'm thinking we make it a bird with these kind of rainbow parrot wings purple like the boba, add on this kind of frosting drip from the penguin, and then maybe do some other elements from the corgi. Okay, I actually decided to pick up one of each of these colors, and then I'm just gonna make it a gradient by doing the Gaussian blur. Yes, that's exactly what I was going for. I'm gonna add a bunch of little bobas on the bottom here, and add on that white icing that's on the little penguin and add the little sprinkles. Oh, I need to add on the little wing. Okay, made them rainbow. I'm gonna blur those together. Add on a little beak. I need to add on the coloring of the corgi. Finally, add on the straw, and here is the final result. I love how this little boba Sunday parrot turned out. Let me know what you think we should name it in the comments. I just got a mystery Squishmallow box from the TikTok shop, and whatever's in it, I'm gonna mash them all together on the iPad. Hey, what's it gonna be? I've got Fluffy Bigfoot, got antelope, and a swordfish. Oh my gosh, wait, this one's so cute. Okay, let's go. Okay, I'm thinking we do the coloring from the Bigfoot and maybe these little feet. The definitely horns and maybe eyes from the antelope. And then from the swordfish, we have to do the horn and maybe the little flippers. I'm gonna start by picking up each color that's in that guy and then just drawing big circle blobs around it. Now I'm gonna do this Gaussian blur and yes, I'm gonna add in the little feet and they have tiny little toes. Now I'm gonna add the eyes from the antelope. I'm gonna add on the little antelope horns, those little fins, the tiny little smile. We have the swordfish's nose. And here is the final result. Let me know what you think we should name it in the comments. Welcome to a new series I'm calling Roll for Squish, where we let the dice decide what kind of squishmallows we mash together. Let's get rolling. Okay, so we've got an octopus grocery store clerk that is gray, red, and yellow with a beak boba and holding something that I decide. So I think I want to make the octopus body be red, draw on all of the little tentacles, and I want to make them yellow. Now I need to draw on the little apron and now I'm going to turn it gray. So I think I'm going to do like a tomato and a banana. Okay, I have to give it boba. Okay, now I have to give it a beak. So I guess I'm just gonna draw like something like that. Okay, last he has to be holding something. So I think I'm gonna add like a ketchup bottle in one hand and a mustard bottle in the other. Alrighty, and here is the final result. Let me know what you think we should name it in the comments. Let's roll the dice to see which squishmallows we're gonna mash together. Okay, we got a robot that is blue and white and includes a beak, a tail, and wings. Okay, here is some inspo up here. So I wanna kind of make it more square elements. It kind of match the bluebird elements, but add in things that are a little bit more robot -y. Like definitely adding in little rivets and I added in some color. Let's make this white. I'm actually thinking we do like airplane wings almost. I am loving how that looks. We need to add on a little beak and I wanna add some elements from that robot down here. And last, it has a tail. So I'm thinking we do kind of like another airplane wing tail back here. And here is the final result. I absolutely love this guy. Let me know what you think we should name it in the comments. Let's roll the dice and create another random Squishmallow mashup. 
Okay, we got an alligator that is gray and red with antennas, devil horns, and insect legs. Okay, this is my inspo up here. We have the alligator squishmallow and a little insect. I'm thinking we make it a red devil alligator. Okay, so let's go ahead and make it red. I'm gonna go ahead and add that little belly down here and make it gray and also add in the alligator's mouth. I'm thinking we're gonna have to add in the antennas on top of his eyes, as weird as that's gonna look, because we need to put the devil horns right here. Now I'm gonna just add in all of these little legs. Color each of those in gray as well. And here is the final result. I think this one's giving some spooky vibes, maybe like an alligator mixed with an insect somehow in like a sacrifice and made this devil. Let me know what you think we should name it in the comments.